you know, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah, kids yeah. that hit puberty at like four. And he had a mustache. He yeah. had like a little shimmy mustache. He was like super into like fingering girls. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah, what am I into yet? Fingering girls. <laughs> no, but he'd be like, dude, I'm telling you, man, like Lauren's pussy gets all wet and shit. And I, I just had a big head and I was like, I want to see boobs. <laughs> uh, I just want to see their boobies. Their lady parts oh, scare me. Yeah, dude, there were, there were these like, these kids were just talking in gym class in eighth grade and they were like talking about fucking a girl. Yeah. And I was just like, I was doing the cartoonish, like, leaning over way too close. They were talking about sex. And they are like, hey, yo, he listening, yo. He listening. He ain't never fuck, yo. And I was just humiliated in gym class. I was like, whoa, no. I'm not listening. I'm not. I've never. And the girls laughing at me like, ah, yo, he, yeah, you dude. ever fuck, yo. It's, so, like, it's funny when you see, like, um, uh, a lot of black dudes are much more liberated sex. Yeah. And it's still one of the funniest things I've ever heard. We're like sitting around like a table and uh, so like these two girls were talking about like IQs or whatever. Mm-hmm. And she, one of them is like, well, my IQ is 120. So that's like really smart. And the other one's like, oh, really? Because mine's 121. You know, and they're, like, <laughs> yeah. they're like doing that back and forth. And this kid who's, you know, white bandana, white fitted cap, you know, yeah, like yeah. big white T-shirt where they dress like black guys. But then the clothes all have to be white, like they have like, <laughs> the white Air Force ones. So it know? makes them all look super pale. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. Well, they have to match their skin tone. They just do like a fucking, you know, like uh, where they take like uh, Sub-Zero and make him Scorpion. Yeah. So they look like a black guy. Like they just changed. They do that. <laughs> where it's like the alternate outfit. Yeah. In where you were like, Mortal oh, dude, Kombat. check this out. This guy's got a white guy filter. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so he's sitting there. Light at the table. blue too. They like a lot of light blues. Oh yeah, yeah. Carolina blue baby. <laughs> he's star <laughs> heels. He's sitting there at the chair, like as completely slouched as possible, yeah. with his like pants basically pulled down to his ankles, like he's fucking, you know, just as relaxed as possible. And they're talking about IQs, and he goes, "Man, I ain't even gonna bring my IQ up because you wouldn't, man, y'all wouldn't even believe me if I told you." <laughs> and I was like, "What's your IQ?" And he goes, and he's like. 472. <laughs> <laughs> what a dipshit. Dead serious. <laughs> what a dipshit. 472. What uh, a dipshit. I was like hyperventilating. <laughs> yeah. I thought, because they delivered it in a way where it was like the funniest fucking Did oh, he, yeah. was he trying to be funny? Or was he no, to be he was dead serious. Oh, yeah. All those dudes. He was dead serious. All those dudes thought they were so smart. Yeah, no, he was going to, I remember he was always like, I work for BMW, man. I make six figures. I work for BMW. And he was a, like a detailer at like a BMW. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. I totally forgot about those kids that would brag about adults. Oh yeah, the those stories of the fucking I the alcoholism days are pretty hilarious. Yeah, in Austin. No, I want to start drinking again. Just no. like you make those, <laughs> those kind of decisions, man. I got pulled over one time. I had to like fly back uh, to see my family for Christmas. So it was the day before Christmas Eve, and I went out to a bar with like Joe Stats, and I had like nine beers. <laughs> And I got me and Jake had fought the night prior to that, so I had like a giant black eye. <laughs> and I had nine beers, and then I took a beer. Somehow they just let me take a beer with oh, me cool. from the bar, nice. which is not I don't yeah. know. So I'm driving, and Joe's trash too, and I'm like I have like a tall boy <laughs> on my lap, and then I I pass by this cop, and I'm like immediately I'm like fuck shit fuck your cop fuck, and then the cops following me. I'm like shit, and then I like. There's a red light, and I like pull halfway into it, like while the light's still red. I'm just like fucking up. I'm like, God damn it! And then Joe's like, Just take a left here, take a left here. And he's like, You know, in my ear. And uh, light turns green. I turn left. I've turned left onto like a divided highway. So I'm like going the wrong way down the divided highway. And Joe's like, Just jump the curb. Just jump. The, just jump the curb. And I'm like, I'm like, No, man. I'm like, This. I'm fucked. You know. So I'm like, I'm going to jail, and I fucking just pull off in the first side street. I put my hazards on, and I'm like, I can't believe this, dude. I'm fucking. Wait, the cop light lit you? I pulled over first before he could light me because I had fucked up. So I put my emergencies on. I just pulled over, and I was waiting for him. And then, you know, I you know I threw the hazards on. I'm like, I'm going to jail. I'm fucking going to jail. But then the cop pulled up behind me and threw the hazards on. And then, like somehow, he comes to the window. I'm like, I can't believe this shit. And I roll down the window, and the cop's like, hey, how you doing tonight? I'm like, yeah, I'm real sorry about that. And then, like, me and Joe were just, we did, it. first of all, a lot of it is just white privilege. But, yeah. like, uh, you know, immediately I was like, yeah, fuck, I'm sorry about that. Um, you know, I'm driving him home. He's giving me directions, and he's fucking trashed, you know, or whatever. Yeah. 
and uh, Joe's like screaming already, you know, <laughs> he's like just hamming up how drunk he is or yeah, whatever. Yeah, cool. And I had, I had given the beer in Perfect. my lap to Joe beforehand. He just poured it on himself and crammed it under the seat. So the cop's like, OK, so you know why you're pulled out? I'm like, yeah, obviously he's driving the wrong way down the thing. He's like, OK, uh, he's like, have you been drinking tonight? And I was like, I had like two beers, you know, um, I was like, I had one with like dinner and then another one, you know, just right before we left the bar. You know, but I'm not like drunk or anything. He's like, okay, well, can you get out of the car just so I can make sure all that smell is coming from him? I was like, yeah, sure. And then still in my head, I'm like, I'm going to jail. Yeah. Yeah. And so the cop brings me around behind the car and he's like, just hang tight for a second. And then he like talks. This girl just beats the shit out of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to whoop your drunkard friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so they talk to Joe and they come back over to me and the cop looked just like David Bowie. Oh, weird. <laughs> he looked like a butt, like a Jack David yeah. Bowie. Yeah, yeah. Like a cop David He's Bowie. He's like Major Tom the Grand yeah, Control. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a couple of black guys wandering <laughs> around the back of the bank. <laughs> Young Americans. They were black and they were driving. Yeah. And they deserved it. Um, yeah, so... Uh, so this cop looked just like David Bowie and like drunk part of my mind is like, tell him he looks like David Bowie. Oh, he'll think that's, man. he'll think that's like, cool. You'll ingratiate yourself to the cop. He's going to be like, oh, for real, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yo, I love Thanks, the star dude. child. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, luckily I didn't, you know, he was like, okay, like, a, you know, I do smell alcohol. He's like, you only had two drinks. And he's like, are you telling the truth? And I was like, yeah, it was two. It was like one with dinner and then one just now. He's like, okay. He's like, I do smell a little alcohol in your breath. I don't think you're lying to me. You know, if you'd said you hadn't been drinking, then we'd have a fucking issue. But, you know, he's like, uh, I'm going to let it slide. So he's like, um, what you want to do? And he, like, brings me back to my car. And he's like, you just go around here, you know, uh, take a right. And then, you know, make sure you get on the right side of the road, you know, coming around. I'm like, all right, thanks. You know, and then he um, I'm like just sitting there with Joe. I'm like. Holy fucking shit. I can't believe that worked. And as I saying that, the cop was like, oh, he was back at the window. He's like, yeah, you forgot your ID. You know? Oh. And I was like, thanks, man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I really have no idea how I got out of that one. Holy fuck. Yeah. I was, uh, when I was 16 or 17, we did mushrooms. Yeah. Me and my buddy did mushrooms and we ran out of cigarettes. We just ate the mushrooms. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hong Kong pirates. Yeah. We are not African pirates. We are Hong yeah. Kong pirates. Listen to me. Listen. I do I am not African pirate. <laughs> pirate. <laughs> I'm Hong Kong pirate. I live with Hong those Kong. people. I live with all Hong Kong pirates. <laughs> this is a dumb Is thing that what you call Chinese people? Yeah. yeah. Hong Kong what pirate. a great name. What a great yeah. name. Well, oh, me and my Hong Kong pirate. <laughs> yeah. The grandmother doesn't speak any English at all. So Does I she mean, like you? I could call her Hong Kong Pirate. I don't know. That's so, also a great band name. Yeah. The Hong Kong Pirates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dun, dun, dun. yeah. And then I have to open every show with. <laughs> One, two, three, four. And they got a hype man that just plays the gong. I think I'm too gong. Japanese. The beginning um, of that's the show, so woke. Yeah, I can't tell if yeah. she likes me or not. <laughs> I love being woke. N nothing on this podcast is woke. We don't do any kind <laughs> We're of. We're the anti woke things. podcast. Yeah, <laughs> you should no. call it the asleep podcast. Yeah, yeah. my girlfriend. The sleepy boys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sleepy boys. <laughs> we ain't woke. We ain't never gonna be woke, bitch. Yeah, yeah. We're sleepy boys. I'm on Xanax. I'm using slurs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using Those slur. <laughs> I'm on it. The guy Your boy on Ambien. Telling stories about white privilege. <laughs> get me out of conflict with the police. <laughs> but I. Act like it's intelligence. Yeah. You know what I hate is wiggers. I can't explain why, but there's something about them that pisses me off, just, man. Just why would you? They're just Sleepy traitors. Boys. I see them as traitors. Yeah, they're Sleepy traitors. Boys. <laughs> Sleepy boys. Sleepy boys. Uh, yeah, no, I can't tell if the if the Chinese people I live with like me or not because the language is so harsh <laughs> that like you like I love you in Chinese is like bang out. Yeah. Think about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he say he rip your face off. <laughs> oh, but it was so tender. Oh, no, very no tender. <laughs> he say he no like you at all. <laughs> he find you to be disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, no one outworks immigrants. Like yeah. you live with an immigrant. If you live near immigrants, you yeah. just, uh, you're like that guy works. Oh yeah. They, like I remember this dishwasher I worked with yeah. at the restaurant. Uh, he was from Ghana. His name was Lasal, and he wouldn't sleep. 
Yeah. He was this African dude, and he would like always brag that he never slept. I'd yeah. be like, Lasana, where do you sleep? He'd be like, I do. I go to a park, I lay down for 10 minutes on yeah. the bench. <laughs> I, I go to my next job, and yeah. then I come here. I was like, oh, my God, I got six, and I am beat. Well, yeah. For energy, I crush spider in yeah. bowl and yeah. drink blood. I don't know if you know this, yeah. but I take the vapor. From the dish machine, <laughs> and it gives me power. I am like a locomotive. Yeah. I am steaming junk. I burn it. He just he only gets tired when he can't find albinos to eat. Yeah. <laughs> to kill I consume the whitest people <laughs> in order for me to be the king. I am the king. Yeah, no, it's because immigrants don't know about happiness yet. It's yeah. there. It's always there. I'm the shitty yeah. kid. I think it's. I don't think it's happiness as much as. Uh, immigrants don't think they're worth uh, well, they, or they don't feel entitled to uh, being uncomfortable. They don't feel entitled. And it's also like if they're a straight up immigrant, like less of the culture is really for them or accessible. Like what what is the old Chinese grandmother I live with going to do this weekend? Go see the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Yeah, maybe. She's going to go see Lady Ghostbusters. Yeah. That's not going to happen. I don't She's think gonna it's, called <laughs> yeah. it's called Lady Ghostbusters. It's called Lady Ghostbusters. It's not a fucking it's college called, it's called, team. Hey, it's called Miss Ghostbusters. Yeah, Miss Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Ghostbusters. Sorry, sorry, I got Ghostbusters pronouns wrong. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Well, don't worry, it's the Sleepy Boys. Yeah, so you don't have to be woke. Yeah, um, but also it's that thing of like I think even children of immigrants in an American thing is you think you have the right to not be uncomfortable. So when you're uncomfortable, mm. you're like I'm uncomfortable. Yeah, right? Right, and right, you take right. that as like pain. What? Where like immigrants work like immigrants work like a hundred hours and their hands are bleeding yeah, from yeah, their yeah. being dry and they're like, well, that's not pain. That's yeah. uncomfortable. Right. Yeah, right, the, right. it's funny because I mean I I live in a tenement with these this Chinese family. Yeah, and it's close quarters and the hot water's off all the time and they have no recourse. They can't. I mean I've complained to three one one. It does nothing, and they just have to live like that. They do all their laundry in the fucking shower and they live off pennies and. Uh, <laughs> So when you plan on moving out, well, that's the thing is like I'll tell people about it, and like I, even Ari was like, "Yeah, human beings aren't supposed to live like that," and it's yeah. like, but referring to me, I'm like, "No, plenty do, plenty, are, <laughs> right, right, plenty right, of them right, do, right. and they're it's fine with it." How they're I like, live. how do you do? How do you do that? And it's like, well, I mean, the Chinese do it. And they're like, yeah, but then, you know, they're yeah. different somehow. <laughs> they're <laughs> not people. And you know, it's funny. I love, uh, but because it's on the Lower East Side. Is there's all these like you know people like tourists will come and they'll go to the tenement museum and go on walking <laughs> tours of the Lower East Side and they'll be like walking past Chinese families that live in the Lower East Side and they're like, yeah, can you believe how hard um, immigrants used to struggle in this neighborhood? But I mean like like the good kind of immigrants, yeah. <laughs> not the kind that had the yeah. soupy language that right. we don't understand. Like you know the suspender mustache guys, the organ grinders, <laughs> the kind of immigrants who like to romanticize. Not Remember the guys who used to wear. Paper boy hats? Yeah. <laughs> Not the ones that spend all their time squatting and smoking illegal cigarettes. <laughs> it's contaminated with fucking Chernobyl radiation. Yeah. Russian old Moscow yeah, cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not those kind of immigrants. Boiling chicken hearts? Yeah. <laughs> nah, but they do it. And I mean, I, I actually like have a lot of respect for them. Um, yeah. Yeah, and they've been like super cool. They, they, uh, they kind of almost like my heart melted when the FBI came to my apartment yeah. looking for me and I wasn't there and the fucking dad was like, even if they come back, we tell them we don't know you. Yeah. And you're like, like, are you my new dad? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had no he had no clothes on when he said that too. He was wearing his boxers, and eating fish eyes off a plate with chopsticks. And he's like, oh, yeah, we tell them we don't know you. It's okay, it don't matter. I tell them, fuck off. Yeah, you ain't oh, cool don't with need me. Police. We call transporter, send you to Hong Kong. Yeah. <laughs> we, get tra- we get transporter to bring you back to Hong Kong. Open, open hard by your Chinese family. <laughs> 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 is your name Nicholas Mullen? <laughs> well, here's the deal. I've got about 15 minutes to put you in the back of this BMW before half the triads and the FBI come looking for both of us. So get in right now. Yo. Hi, I'm the transporter. <laughs> we call transporter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, transporter. Transporter. Uh, okay. yeah. I it's, see it's him the, right there. The, <laughs> casual, the casual conversation. How you doing, Ling? Yeah, I'll come pick up your boy. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, HK. Nice. Hope you don't run into Hong Kong pirates. 
Uh, that's a trailer for the movie Callback with Jason Statham. <laughs> it's just all callbacks. Yeah, yeah. Something I didn't Jason get from S- SNL. How, how does Jason Statham not have a podcast? That would be the number one celebrity podcast. That Welcome, would immediately be... Jason Statham puts together IKEA furniture. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a frustrating podcast. Well, <laughs>